To create a form, the first step is to edit the title. Here, we will insert Reporter Printer Malfunction. The next step is to ask the customer some questions. For example, we would like to get a brief description of the problem. For this, we can insert the call-specific field Brief Description. By clicking on the question, you can edit the label. Also, by clicking on the star, you can make the question mandatory. We want the customer to elaborate on the malfunction, which can be done by adding an open question to the form. Here, we can edit the question. Let's type, what can we help you with? In our case, we will make this question mandatory. If we want to make it clear that the customer should explain a little bit more, we can create more space for answering the question by adding rows to the answer field. Here, we will add five more rows. We can also insert an attachment field to make it possible for the customer to add attachments such as screenshots. Finally, we would like the customer to tell us which printer is malfunctioning. We can do this by inserting the object field from the call specific fields. Per default, this field is both object and location. We can specify which object or locations are available. In this case, we will only allow printer type objects. We can also specify additional fields to be filled in automatically. You can specify this on the right-hand side. You can set, for example, the call type, categories and subcategories. We can also pre-fill the operator group, status and entry type. The entry type lets you know where the call originated from. The brief description field is included in the form and will thus be filled in by the customer. Let's save our form. This form isn't yet published in the self-service portal, as it needs to be added to a service as a flow, which we will learn in the next video.